Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi guys, Bowman's here from Kit Guru. In today's video, I'm going to be playing the new Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So this game came out on the 5th of October and it roughly RRPs at around £44.99 to £100, depending on which edition of the game you actually want to go for. I've been really excited to play this game just because the developers this time have put a lot more emphasis on the RPG elements of the game. So that means as you go through and progress with your story, your dialogue options will have multiple choice. So these multiple choice actions will either benefit you or give you consequences depending on which one you choose. And obviously I think that's really, really good because it immer like it gives you that immersion of the game. So it makes you think, well, what would I do? What should I do? And it makes you kind of like contemplate on what decisions you're gonna make. Hi guys, now that we're actually into the game, let's go ahead and get going. So I will mention that I have already sorted out my options for the game, checked if there was motion blur. There wasn't, thankfully. But um, but yeah, so it automatically put me on ultra high. So that's something to obviously think about if you guys have really good hardware for your PCs. But yeah, so let's go ahead and just... <laughs> King Leonidas of Sparta, 480 Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. This soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. Hmm. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Can I this is Sparta someone? That'd be so cool. This this Sparta! <laughs> oh please let me. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? For our sons, for our daughters, for yeah. Sparta. Oh wow, they came pretty fast. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, do I get to fight? I get to fight Persians, let's go. Oh. Oh, gross. Oh wow, okay. Oh, I do get two! Okay, so left click is light attack. What are, what are those things? Oh, I don't know what they are. Okay, so who do I attack? Do I attack this guy? Oh, goodness. What, three for a bull rush? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I don't know how to turn around, but okay. Oh! Oh, I nearly missed and spotted him! Except I didn't kick him. Can I like... Oh, wow. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Okay, so already I'm really enjoying the fact that they have, I'm gonna pause this just to quickly say because of how excited I am. Already, I'm enjoying the fact that they've used the one, two, three, four as kind of like a, when you play um, like RPG games and like L um, MMO games and stuff, they have the one, two, three, four. So I'm, I'm really, really liking the fact that they have the um, ability bar, basically. And it's not just uh, a hack and slash. Whoa. Now I just feel like I'm, I don't know. I'm just causing havoc with everybody, it's brilliant. 
Because, like, I'm just doing all these fancy moves that technically I probably shouldn't even be doing. But it's awesome. Sorry, when I play a new game, it's uh, it's trying to get used to the, the cameras and all that sort of stuff. Because obviously every single game is different. So, like, moving the camera, the sensitivities and all that sort of stuff. Oh, am I supposed to be killing? Oh, okay. I just realised who I'm supposed to be killing. I'm trying to, like, take on the entire of the, uh, the Persian army here. Am I nearly dead? Is that what's going on right now? What's going on? I don't want to fight you. I want to. Ooh! I wonder if there's. Oh wow! I wonder if there's a quicker way to turn around. Woo! Damn! Right, let's go. You are mine. Oh, not you. I don't want you. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh. I probably could dodge. It hasn't told me how to dodge just yet. No. That's one. Is that? Oh. And that guy, I guess. Please let me. This is spy him properly. Oh, <gasps> it might let me. Please let me. Please. Come on. Oh, rip, rip that guy. Okay, we're gonna 1v1 fight. Uh, lock on. <gasps> okay, so space is dodge. Okay. I will bring Zaxi's your head, you insolent Spartan fool. Come and get it. <laughs> Stab! Ow, I didn't dodge then, sorry. Woo! That was a good move. Check me out. <laughs> Look at your health! Ooh! <laughs> I just this is spying him! Oh no, I was gonna do it off the cliff. Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong one. I did unlock the achievement called This Is Spire, but I did the wrong move. No! <laughs> I say we won today. I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> That's me. We are betrayed, my king. Jerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, we will be completely surrounded. Oh, we are with his head. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> Didn't expect day that. was a day the Persians will never forget. <clears throat> Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. That guy's really good at keeping up morale. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Do you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just out of Victoria. <laughs> You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you.
Animus. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go Let's with normal. Take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit Thank will let you. me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Um, let's Give go for guided. As much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This sphere, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What, what is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going Ooh. to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Yay! So in this game, you get to choose whether you are Alexios or Cassandra. So I've always enjoyed the fact of games when they give you a male or a female choice. So I'm always going to go with the female, obviously. All right, boss. With We're being female. Good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start. Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Mm. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, I love the fact that you can play as a male or a female in this game as well. I think that's definitely upped it a lot. I would like to pronounce that name, but I can't. And you can't see it because of my face! I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess. It's called Kalapanoia Island. 431 BCE. So pretty. I'm really, really excited to see the dialogue options. It has this innate ability to choose everything wrong without meaning to. And then I have all like the consequences. Whenever I play good or bad playthroughs as well, I always end up going good. Like I always try and go good. I don't know what it is. I feel guilty in real life if I were to make like a, a bad decision or be evil or something. Hi, Cassandra. Hey, shit face! Get down here! That was rude. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Malaka! Oh! The Cyclops Let's go! To act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. What's this? The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. Oh! He was parry. Tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops. I'm gonna kill you. Maybe. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? I'm just kind of. <laughs> she just kind of stood there, like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stab you, but I'm waiting. Last week. This shit happens every week. Keep doing this. Hello. 
Nah. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> oh. What happened to you? Punched in the face. It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. <laughs> you hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Oh, not this again, or I'll ask Zeus for you. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to move this camera. Give me one second. I'm going to have to move it out of the way. I'm gonna move it up here so you can see the um, options and stuff. There you go. Sorry for the disruption. Let's go. Um, how long has Marcos had a vineyard? Or where on the road to Sami? And I'll go and find him. Um, how long has... Since when has he had a vineyard? Sorry, vineyard. Yesterday, I think. Vineyard. So, <laughs> Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. Oh, sound just so muscly. <clears throat> Excuse me? I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Go, go! Hang on. Grr. <sighs> Oh, hello. Oh, okay, choices. Here we go. So the choices you make will have impacts, both seen and unseen. Consider your options carefully as some affect the story and are permanent. Get out of here. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. <laughs> I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. Oh, I was like, this pajamas. So I went onto the Ubisoft Club and um, like got all the Ubisoft Club rewards and all that sort of stuff. So there'll be like bonus content and everything. Um, Q is Paris. So let's have a look. So escape brings up obviously the options. M brings up the map, which, oh my goodness. Okay. So where am I? I'm here. I'm in, oh, Kef what? Kefalonia, I'm going to assume. Okay, and I'm in the ancient ruins of Krnanoi. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff, okay? But yeah, I'm in the ancient ruins. And so I'm here. We'll see how much of this area is, uh, like how large it is on a scale, and then we'll be able to figure out the largeness of this <laughs> this game is gonna take a while to complete let's put it that way and from over here they've taken the um the the fact that you could go on a, a ship in the black flag assassin's creed and obviously you can now go around on a ship around here and stuff as well so that is really cool i wonder if there is actually a monster in the ocean I wonder if that is. Oh, that'd be so cool if there's like monsters and stuff in the ocean. So instead of just like defending yourself on land, you've got to defend yourself in the ocean and stuff as well. That'd be so cool. Super cool. Okay, so let's go and do this mission and get dressed. The graphics are incredible. Like literally everything. Like the light rays and stuff. Just generally the the foliage and all that sort of stuff is just beautiful. 
It's stunning. Is my wardrobe up? Why is there a wardrobe up here? Do I have an inside to my house? Okay, so loot. Let's get this on. Uh, I to open the inventory. Oh, okay, so helmet. Ah, oh, required. Level five. Level five. So this is the stuff from the Ubisoft club. And have I not? Hang on. Wait, what? Oh, a broken bow. Okay. Is that it? You have gear that is better than what you have equipped at the moment. I can't put it on though, so look, I can't put it on. So I'm just gonna have to keep that. So it's cool how it tells you down here. So my health is 68 right now. My hunter damage is six. My warrior damage is 17 and my assassin damage is 140 even. And my armor is 12. And up here you can see the materials and whatnot. You've got your map, which obviously I've just shown you guys. You've got your quest tab. So you'll have your main and your side quests and like bounties and contracts, world characters and all that sort of stuff. So that's, that's good. Um, we have an abilities as well. So here we go. So leveling up, earning XP increases your level and awards and ability points to spend on abilities. New abilities are progressively unlocked and can eventually be upgraded. So yeah, it's just your usual skills here. So it looks like this is kind of like your hotbar sort of thing. I think. No, okay, so here, so you've got your ranged hotbar and then your melee hotbar. So I believe that when you have your sword equipped, you'll do your melee hotbar stuff and then you can, I think it was hold right click and then it brought up the ranged one. But obviously, we'll, we'll get more into that, but I just wanted to show you guys the tabs and the skills area and stuff. And okay, let's go. So now I am dressed. Marcos bought a new vineyard on Calfalonia. He is in the southern part of Mount Aeonos. Okay. Oh, I could interact with that. What does that do? Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. Um. Okay. What is in here? Okay, so I sleep in here. I sleep in here, but I have a wardrobe up there. Marcus oh. knew this would serve young Cassandra well. Can't imagine fighting the Cyclops' thugs with it now. I got some gold called Drachmir. Drachmir? Drachmir? Gold. I'm just gonna call it gold. To not complicate things with myself. Okay. Oh, what does that interact button do? Ugh. That smells lovely. Probably time I emptied it. Emptied what? That? Uh, is that a bed? Bleh. That's a, a toilet pot. Gross. Mm -hmm. uh, where do I want to go? Map. And I am here. So. I need to go there. But first, let's go and discover here. So again, with one of these games, um, you are, you don't have to go ahead and go to the mission straight away. They have it open world. It's not a linear game or anything like that. So you can go wherever you want to. You can explore however much you want to explore, loot as much as your like heart's content. Or obviously, if you're just one of these people that wants to go ahead and get it done, you can just go ahead to the quest and whatnot. But I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm like, I must explore everywhere because you'll probably come across some really interesting quests or interesting items of loot. So Wreckage of the Lost Bandit. Who's that? Is that an enemy? Are you friendly? Why are you just walking in the water? So loot the treasure. Are you friendly? No, you're not friendly. Can I attack you? Let me attack you. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Ow. He parried me. Woo. Ooh. Fatality. Can I carry him? I don't want to carry him. I'll just leave him. 
there's other enemies here apparently. I just don't know where. Dunno. Let's go and have a look at the loot. That's not loot. V to toggle through enemies. You can use Icarus V to tag enemies, making them easier to spot. I can't actually see any enemies though. There's a boat there, but then there's a ship there. But I can't actually see any of the enemies. I'm gonna assume I've killed them. Let's go and find this loot as well. That's it. There's like a box here. Okay. Loot. Ooh! Got a new weapon. And it is the exact same oh okay so this plus is four. Oh, cool so any items and stuff they'll do um they'll have plus percents in certain things so this one is plus four percent in warrior damage and then this one is plus four percent in assassin's damage so i'm gonna keep with warrior damage because i've got a feeling that oh and i looted it again and it gave me gold nice i've got a feeling that i'm gonna encounter a lot more people just on the way and i'm not gonna be sneaky sneaky as much as probably think but we'll see what did i just loot iron metal is that just a ground object that i just looted i wonder what that looked like next time i'm gonna stare at it so i know loot this you swim out to here i wonder if there's shocks and stuff I totally d oh cool I'm gonna take command because I, I want to see like how. This is awesome! I'm like on a boat. Wee! And this fishes. Area not available. Okay, so I can't just like abandon ship in the middle of the ocean. Can I? Can I drop the boat somewhere? What does it mean, area? There we go. Okay, so E is to drop the boat. Oh no. Dismount. Holding E. Let's go over here. Can you swim faster? Is that a thing? <gasps> there was a dolphin! Oh my goodness! I want to go swim with him. Come here. Oh my god! This is freaking awesome! Dolphins! Oh, whoa. Come back to me! Oh, I'm holding shift and I'm swimming up. Okay. Oh, they've gone. They le oh my god! Oh! <laughs> there is shot! Ah! Go, 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 go! I don't even know where he is, but let's just get out of the water. Okay. <laughs> so, where is he? So, the ocean of Assassin's Creed Odyssey does contain sharks. So, be careful. That's awful. I'm probably never gonna go in the ocean then. Like, ever. And there is nothing here. I kind of came over here. <gasps> They're dolphins. Look at them. They're so pretty. Like, I'm really, really enjoying the graphics of this. Like, I think the water texture and stuff are really nice as well. I wonder if you can get whales in here. What's that? Sorry, guys. They're sharks, aren't they? They look like sharks. Their fins were like really, really big. Okay, let's go away from the water because the water is a scary place. And we'll keep going. Um, let's go ahead and... So, I wanted to show that you could just go around and explore your own thing and all that sort of stuff instead of just going ahead and doing the main story straight away but obviously we'll go ahead and cut to the chase basically and go to the main story so that we can continue what's that iron mail okay so throughout the open world you can discover things on the floor like iron metal and oh wow I thought I was like a monkey there. 
So I've discovered iron metal, which fills up here. You can discover soft leather, which I'm assuming is from hunting animals. Wood, uh, certain wild trees and salvaged ships, apparently. Ancient tablets are... Contains lost engineering wisdom and a found scatter throughout the world in ancient ruins. So they will be in ancient ruins. Obsidian glass used to upgrade gear. So that's really cool. So you can upgrade stuff. That's awesome. I wonder if it has like a durability or something. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't have like any durability bars or whatnot. And precious gems. So used to engrave gear. Precious gems are carried by... Engrave? I wonder if that will give you certain like not necessarily powers as such, but whether they'll give you extra benefits. Uh, are you friendly? You look friendly. Oh, did I just push you? I'm super sorry. <laughs> he was friendly and, and oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just like ran into these people's homes, woke them up by kicking them and then just kind of climbed all over their, their walls. So sorry. Let's just go to the mission before I upset someone. <laughs> I don't have a stamina bar, I don't think. So I can just keep running to my heart, like heart's content. Let's go to the Are you friendly? No, you're not friendly. There she is, get her, she's over there. Come at come at me. That's what I get for sparing you. Oh, Oh, I spared them and now they're killing me. Well, what is that? What are you throwing at me? Is it poison? Oh, stop shooting poison stuff at me. Oh. Dead. Oh cool, and there's like challenges, like that one just said, kill 25, sorry I'm really not paying attention, kill 25 archers, because I've just killed one, so I wonder what happens when you, like, do them and stuff. Uh, right, let's get out of here. Wait, they just attacked me, I saved them as well. I'm getting gold though, so that's that's really good. Did I, I looted that guy? Oh, there we go. So I just got some olive wood. So some of the trees in the open world give you olive wood. Oh, I was gonna try and attack a ram, but it, it didn't work. Oh, GG, GG, Eagle. Ik, what's his name? Ik, Ik. Ikorus? Ikfuzz? I can't remember. I'm gonna call him Icarus. Uh, village of... Okay, so you get XP for discovering things as well. Uh, where do I need to go? The big statue. Of Zeus. Icarus! Okay, I Icarus. So I was right. Icarus. How far are we away from Zeus's? We're not. He said south of the statue, didn't he? Is this it? Oh, this is a vineyard. Well, I don't even know what this is. Is there a reason I'm doing this? That one. See what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Okay. So, oh, I pressed. Oh, yeah. Okay, that worked. Okay. So, so Icarus is like the the one that. Sorry, there was like a little flying. Okay. Um, Icarus is the one that tells me where my target is and stuff. So, cool. Hello, Marcos. Hello. I keep telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant where I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... <laughs> Cassandra, 
thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. <laughs> I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before yep. they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? You don't know how to make wine. You're going to fail. I think you're going to fail is a bit mean, so I'm going to go with you don't know how to make wine. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple, is it? <laughs> you know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. <laughs> then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. So now I have to be mean to him. You're too kind to Duris. Stop giving Duris money. How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him. <laughs> exactly. Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Kefalonia! Okay, I was close. I think. So I want my gold, we'll say that is. Uh, where is Duris, and how should I handle this? How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was, uh, that was too much. <laughs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. <laughs> Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to. But don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. <laughs> Sorry. Where can I find Luris? In a shop in Sami overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, okay? I wanted to ask you all these things. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of Our? Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. <gasps> Ooh. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. <laughs> I love how, like, strong she is. Oh, let's go for the white one. The white one. Uh. White. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, I probably, <laughs> I probably should have listened to what the others were. I was just like sold on that horse. That one, on the right. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because I'm sure <laughs> everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Povos. He's never let me down. He was just trying to miss, like, not sell him to me. Meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, a fair pick. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. <gasps> by who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Hey. Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Let's go. Look at this horse. This horse is beautiful. Well, it looked better in there, I'm not gonna lie. But let's go. <laughs> 
If people see you stealing items, they will react and your bounty will be raised. Cool. What's this? Deck collector? Woo! Woo! <laughs> this is so fun! Who are you? Okay, let's dismount and then go and talk. You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. That doesn't it's sound possible. good. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drawerati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, uh, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All They're not gods. Things. They don't sound like Go them. them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. I'll go All hear right. these gods. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. It sounds like people are just wanting to... Where's my horse? Hello? <laughs> Where's my horse gone? Someone's robbed me of my horse. Can you call it or something? Hello? Horse. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna run. Cause I don't know where he's gone. Let's see. Let's see if there is controls <laughs> to summon a horse. Um. No, I can call the eagle, but not not the horse. Well, if you lose your horse, he's gone. He's poofed. Like Houdini, gone. Okay, let's just run on foot. We'll look at the beautiful sights. Lake. Oh, let's go in here. Oh, that looks so scary. There's a dead body there. Oh, whoa, that's not a dead body. What's that? I don't want to swim anymore. It looks scary. It looks like a big monster's gonna come out and kill me. I can't believe my horse is gone. Can I leave you? No. Wait, where am I going? Can I talk to you? Are you just a random passerby? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> just wondering on the road without my horse. There they are. I'll sneak up on them, I like it. How cool is it? This looks stunning. Like I said, I'm running with a 1080 Ti, so I'm like being really like I'm able to see really far away, which is awesome. It's admiring. Okay, let's go. Go and get Phoebe back. And we're gonna use Icarus to three. Is there any more? I'm gonna go with no. 
Okay. So I'm gonna go up here and then we're gonna do like a flank. Let me go. Or not, because apparently the game wants me to be there. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. So detection. Enemies will investigate if they spot you in a restricted area. Crouch C to become less visible and hide in the vegetation. This tall grass will keep me hidden. Oh. Assassinate. Assassinate unexpected enemies by pressing F. However, if your assassin's damage is not enough to kill the enemy, you will stealth attack and enter conflict. The rest of those malakis get away. So how do you know if... Hang on, hang on, hang on. How do you know if your assassinate level is, like, high enough? Average damage dealt with assassinations and knockouts. Value based on current level and can be modified by perks and mastery abilities. But it doesn't explain how much of the... Um, assassination level is, so... Yes? Who's whistling? Who's whistling? I'm gonna kill you! How's that person not seen over there? Where did that come from? No. I'm gonna kill you all! That Marcos is going to be next. I was so sure there was something. <laughs> Broken. Ah, oh, cool. I just got a new helmet. I mean, it's broken. Ah, uh, it's not. Ah. Uh, never mind. I missed my horse! Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Oh, let's change to that one. That one looks cool. Often used for trading gold, copper, glass, and ivory. These horses are also found to. found to use pulling them as well. Oh, this is not only a nimble mount. You can sprint short distances, but a great companion as well. Sorry, I've gotten rid of you already. It's from the you play club store thingy. Oof. Oof. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. Hang on, there's looting to be done. Maybe. Apparently not. No, no loot. I'll come and save you. Hang on. In a second! Oh, we got a mace! Mm. So this is a heavy blunt, so I'm assuming when you use heavy blunts they're gonna be a lot heavier to swing and all that sort of stuff. It's slow, oh yeah, it's slow but reliable, let's hope your foe is just as lethargic. Or obviously this is so rusty that you can be sure the sword has changed bandit hands many times over. I'm gonna keep my sword I think. Just because it swings faster. Hello. Free prisoner. <laughs> she doesn't even deserve a name. Just, right? just free prisoner. It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. <laughs> Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since since my parents died. I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Yeah. Oh, flashback. Maybe. <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in! Let him have it! <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Up. Yes, Pater. Spartan. Rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Mm -hmm. That's enough, Nikolaus. 
The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. <laughs> Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Aww, that was cute. That was super cute. Best stay out of sight. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos hey. the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here. Bye. Talos the stone fist has just what I need today. Another <laughs> broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. What a... You are hunted. Bounty hunters in the red helmet icon. Thing. Like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. Bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. So open the mercenaries menu. Ah, oh, this is awesome! So, in the mercenary menu, review your position, the rewards for each tier, as well as the status, strengths, and weaknesses for all known mercenaries and bounty hunters. Since Talos is higher level, you should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him. Ah, so he's tier 9. Hey, this looks exactly like, um... Like, um... Middle... Shadow of Mordor? <laughs> Middle Earth? Um, Middle Earth. Yeah, Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But I played a little bit of that game, but it looks like the whole um, mercenary thing there and whatnot as well. But it, it doesn't look like these guys, if they were to kill each other, they would like promote themselves in the ranks and all that sort of stuff. So. Cool, sweet. So I am level two and this guy is level five. So at the moment it's recommended me not to go and fight him. So I feel like we should kind of listen. And I have one ability point, so... Oh, hold X to summon him. Okay, I didn't know that. So hold X to summon the horse. M to meditate so you can rest and move time forward. That's V to control Icarus. So you can actually upgrade this as well. So you get stuff to do to upgrade that. F to assassinate. Hold shift to jump. X to whistle. Equip a second weapon from the inventory menu and swap between them at any time. Cool, so you can have like a... A fast weapon and then a slow weapon. That is level 15 and upwards. And then it's just telling me to dodge and all that. So let's go for the warrior. Quickly rush through enemies, knock them down and deal 250% warrior damage. A legendary kick that knocks a target back and deals 160. Oh cool, it's literally called the spark kick as well. So this is Sparta! <laughs> and a charge heavy attack. So focus inner strength to unleash a powerful attack that varies depending on the weapon type. Um, Shadow Assassin, Venomous Attacks, and Revelation. Summon Athena's Sight to reveal all secrets. I'm going to go with this one because I want to know where all the loot is and all the secrets are and all that sort of stuff. And all that jazz. Fight. No, I don't want to track that one yet. So let's go ahead and get the quest area up and go and do the... Um, deck collector quest. So the one where 
we're going to go talk to Juris. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so hold X. Oh, Phobos is not available. Why not? He's not available, apparently. I keep whistling. I keep pressing it, but it's not working. So collect the money from the merchant in Sami. Break in Duras's wares may encourage him to Ooh, encourage him to pay his debt. Oh, here we go. Hello. Whoa, what is going on with your mane? Next. <laughs> Hello. There we go. While on Phobos, hold Z to let him take control and follow roads. Whilst following a road, press E to keep heading towards any marker you've placed in the world. So let's test this then. And I want to go here. So Z and E to go to the map marker. So I can literally just kind of freehand this and then Phobos is going to go ahead and go to the quest, which is really cool. But obviously if you do this, you're kind of missing all of the exploration side of things. But if you just want to get somewhere fast, you can. So I'm in Sami right now. And it's still going. It's cool how you can steal off people. Therese is going to be at his shop. And then you can just pull off the horse or anything. Oh, cool. So these are message boards. So mercenary work. As Cassandra had learned, any job is a good job, no matter how small. Um, a Kefalonian armorer needed wolf furs for the war effort and knew Cassandra could provide them easily. So does that mean I have a new bounty quest thing to do? It is! Oh, that's really cool. So if you go to one of these, they give you like extra missions to do. Um, let's go... <clears throat> trying to jump. Can I not jump up there? I don't know how to jump. Am I being silly? Maybe. Good to see you. Get your boats here, good. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. This is it? Tell Marcos to come down here himself if he wants his money. Not his, it's mine. No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Then you shouldn't have borrowed the money. You're right, double is too much. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops. That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. I won't leave without the gold, or I'll leave you alone now. Oh. Oh! This is my first hard decision, because do I want to continue? Like pushing him for money. Mm. No. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. I'm gonna kill him. Maybe. Hey. I told you. I've paid Marcos enough. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll pay you, just stop. <laughs> Fine. The money is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luri. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. It's not me. Well, might be me, but 
Oh, cool. There's like an eagle point up here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hang on. It's quite far away. Come on the road again. And I can't wait to get on the road again. I think it's on the Zeus statue. Let's go. Oh. Can I? Let's go. Thank you, Phobos. And it is! It's on the Zeus statue! So let's go and climb it. Look at that! I mean, this is just something. This is absolutely Come stunning. On. Synchronization location. Or synchronized location, sorry. Right, so let's dismount from you. Oh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, cool, I do off his, uh, lightning bolt. Synchronize. Ooh. I got that. That is a thing of beauty. So synchronizing unlocks fast travel to this viewpoint. It also increases Icarus's abilities, including uh, improved perception and harassing. So I hold shift and then I jump. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Cool. Can I loot anything up here though? No. Well, that was really fun. That was super fun. Let's go ahead and go... Where's our quest? What's that? In the footsteps of the gods. Let's jump down. I'm surprised I didn't take any damage there. Go, oh, target cannot be reached by this road. Okay. Sorry. I'm like pushing you to go somewhere that you can't actually go any time yet. English? So. What? What mission am I even doing? Quests. Oh, right, let's go and do the Hungry Gods. Um. Oh, I chose the wrong one again. I'm like pressing buttons. So let's go to the hungry gods. Keep that. Let's go. Why? <gasps> Which way do we go? Come on. Oh, that way. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Watch where you're going. Where are you going? It's up this way. Sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm trying to find shortcuts. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Just abusing like the locals. Right, horse. Oh, sorry. Just completely ran you over with a horse. Right, stay there, horse. Don't go anywhere. How do I get up there then? Because I've come to realise I can't actually jump. I can only hold forward. So if I can't actually get up somewhere, or if the game's not programmed for me to get up there, then I can't get up there. When an area is dark, equip a torch by holding T. Does this torch run out? What was the button that I could see all the loot? 
abilities. <laughs> Bless me. V. Ah, oh, here we go. Loot. Cool. Yeah, look. Oh, can I? I must be able to get up there. Is there a jumping button? Am I just being blonde? Climb down? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm being blonde. Okay, so left shift is to climb up. Let's go and test this theory. There we go. Yep, I was just being blonde. Sorry. Yeah, so left shift is the button to get up. So, can I go? Oh, okay, so yeah, so you can literally go like everywhere. Let's go and get this loot. Oh. Hello. God. Oh, I'm stealing this. I just stole goat cheese. <gasps> Hello. Offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. Are you watching me? Does that mean she's watching me? Probably. Let's not steal. Let me go over here and steal. Ah, oh, she keeps looking at me. Fine. There's a draft here. A crack in the wall. Explore the area behind the wall, and then I'm gonna come back for that loot. That loot is mine. I'm gonna steal it. Okay, so should we potentially put the torch away? Oh wow. Remain watchful. The killer can strike at any time. Oh wow. I need those two to move. What? How? Oh. This failed miserably. I just can't sneak, honestly. I'm like the worst. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks. Okay, let's pick up the loot that. Uh, there's more over there, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm on fire. Flames, get out! Out, damn you! I walked into a torch. And like, I got set on fire. Can I like, oh, can I jump over there? I'm like a monkey. So 
Oh, it's Lou. Oh, wow. What's that? What's that want me to do? Carry? Oh, I guess I could have thrown that to get their attention. I want to go up here. I would have totally had that then. <laughs> this this person's very vocal in getting hit. Woo! That move. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. My loot. In a minute. Go up here and yes, loot. Dismantling unused gear. You are carrying unused equipment and what? What is Cassandra doing? And items. Dismantle them to receive resources or sell them at a shop. Got more gold. I think that's it, right? Nope. How was that actually run in fire there and nothing actually happened? And then this is the exit. One thing I noticed as well is like as you're progressing through areas, it's um you can see where am I? So like oh no, it didn't actually work this time. Hang on. Where am I? The cave. Is there a way that I can actually see the areas I'm at? No? 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 Well, anyway, the point I was getting at is as I was, as I was going through here, it was telling me how, um, like that there was loot to find and whatnot, so it made me know that not to leave the cave until I've actually found the loot, so I'm not missing out on anything. Yeah, I tried to figure out, maybe when I actually come out it'll show me. I think that's it in here. Like, major loot anyway. Not these little ores and... Yeah, I'll we'll get out and see if it says there's like a complete area. Does it? No. Hmm. Strange. What's all this? Oh, uh, this this is all the offerings. I want to go back to the beginning of the cave though, so I can like steal everything. Pretty much. Let's try and find the cave entrance so I can steal. But shh, I'm a good person. There's some more olive wood. And what was that? Oh, some more iron metal. No. Hello. 
No gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and Rahmi. <gasps> I knew it! <laughs> Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus bring his wrath on those bandits. I've done it. Don't worry. I brought mine. That should be good enough. Mm. Oh, wow. 113 gold. Okay, I'm going back in so that I can steal everything. <laughs> and I miss this. Oh, I oh, hey, 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 hey. It replenished. Can you, like, get down? Wow. Infinite, like, resources then. Get down. I mean, lady. Come on. I could literally be here forever then. Don't make the um <laughs> don't hold shift down. Because I'm holding shift thinking it's like making me run. And I keep climbing up everything. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> mine. I am now your god. Thank you. I think that's it. Eh, some like ore and stuff. That's fine. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's just iron ore again. Sorry, iron metal. We'll go down. So we've helped somebody think that well, he thought that there was gods. We've helped that person realize that they weren't and there were thieves. Oh wow, okay. So yeah, jumping does definitely damage you as well. I guess I could have known that. And I'm still getting hunted by Phalos. Olive wood. You could literally just run through and like everything that you're encountering just press E on. Just to pick up everything. Temple of Zeus? Cool. Oh. I need to not do this in the area. Where's Makas? Okay, I'm here, right? Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you. Send us a champion. I'm a champion. Someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. Your prayer is answered. I can help instead. Um. I can help. I'm the only one here. But maybe I can help you. <gasps> oh, Cassandra. You startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. The spear? If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Yeah, I didn't want to go ahead and be like, your prayers have been answered, because I'm not amazing. So I didn't want to go ahead and be like, hey, I am a champion, because that's just really big headed, and you shouldn't really do that. Kefalus had a spear? Cassandra, surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't have much time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never to miss its target. He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. Oh, wow. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. That's super it's sad. A sad story. Sounds dangerous. Yeah, just well, a bit. Only if you throw it at someone. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, <laughs> are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. Yeah, but With they might steal it. I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. 
So, where is this spear? Apparently, it's hidden deep in the caves beneath Kefalonia. There's an entrance north of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Right, guys, I think I'm going to leave the video here just because I don't want to spoil too much for you all. Um, I want you to experience the game and just generally have fun. So guys, after slightly getting carried away and playing an hour and 20 minutes of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I can say that I did enjoy the game. I feel that the price point of the game is justified for the amount of content that is actually within the game itself. So you've got your open world side and you've got a lot of exploring to do, which I, I mean, we haven't even scratched the surface. I hadn't even gotten out into the oceans, used a ship or anything like that. Regarding the combat system, it seems a bit more in depth this time because obviously you have your range and your melee hotbars. So at the beginning of the game when we were playing as Leonidas, I was pressing one, two, three or four. So this gave me different abilities um, for different attacks. Uh, you have different weapons in the game, so instead of just using the swords for fastness, you have um, heavy weapons if you want to deal more damage but are slower, and you have your bow as well. Obviously you have a horse, so you can manoeuvre around the uh, big open world faster, or obviously if you just wanted to go ahead and walk it, you could do that as well. And then you have your armour, so your armour will have um, like armour ratings, some are better, some are really bad. One of the things I did absolutely adore was the multiple choice side of things. So as we were going through the story, we had a choice whether we were going to do good or do bad. Like at the beginning, where we had the choice to either set those um, Cyclops thugs free, or were we going to kill them? And I think that, me personally, I'm always going to go good unless I can, I don't know, unless I'm like hit with a position where someone's done so bad that maybe I shouldn't be nice to them, maybe I should be horrible to them, but I think that it plays on people's morals a bit. Like, you know what should, like, what is right, but are you gonna do it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel that it, it opens people up in a way that can cause a disaster, or it opens up like a dark horse in someone or something, but no, I, I love that they've added that to the game, I think it makes it that whole lot better. And obviously it majorly differentiates from the previous Assassin's Creed as well. Overall, guys, I am in love with this game. I know obviously only playing an hour and 20 minutes of it, there is still a lot more to do. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And if you decide to end up getting Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I hope you have some absolutely amazing adventures and do a lot of looting. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.